Hello friends, welcome back to the Global Studio YouTube channel. Today we will discuss the issue of stretch command in AutoCAD. If you have been struggling to get this feature to work as expected, don't worry, we will discuss the possible causes and simple solutions to fix this. So without further delay, let's jump in and learn how to troubleshoot the stretch command. The most common problem is related to how you select objects. Unlike other commands, the stretch command requires a crossing window. If you select the sketch from left to right or using a blue selection box, you cannot stretch the sketch. This method will only move the object from one location to another. To stretch the object, you must select it from right to left or using a green selection box. Then completely select one side of the sketch before stretching the sketch. As you can see, this works perfectly. And now enter the distance to stretch the sketch. But if you select only a portion of the sketch, you can stretch only that part as I am showing here now. Another important point is that not all objects in AutoCAD can be stretched. For example, you can stretch lines, arcs and polylines, but you can't stretch circles, blocks using this command. Double check the type of object you are trying to stretch. If it's not stretchable, consider using other commands like move, scale or explode to modify it. Sometimes objects won't stretch because they are on a locked layer or have constraints applied to them. Check if the layer is locked and unlock it. You can do this by opening layers panel and clicking the lock icon. Also look for constraints using the constraint bar command and remove them if necessary. If you have dynamic input enabled, it can occasionally interfere with the stretch command. To fix this, disable dynamic input by pressing F12 or typing DIN mode and set it to 0. This will ensure smoother operation. Finally, if none of these solutions work, it might be an issue with the drawing file itself or AutoCAD settings. Run the audit command to check and fix the errors in your drawing. I hope this video has helped you understand how to troubleshoot the stretch command in AutoCAD. If you still have questions, drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to assist. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more cool tips and tricks. See you in the next video. Bye bye.